In today's video, I'm going to show you how to improve the recording quality if you're using OBS to record your videos and you're having issues where the videos kind of look blurry or laggy or simply they don't look good so regardless the problem you're facing right now i'm gonna show you how to fix that so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to obs right now have obs open we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna go to output the first time you open obs the output mode is gonna be set to simple so you want to make sure you actually set it to advanced and then you want to make sure you go to recording under recording and then recording settings under recording settings you want to make sure you choose the recording path so basically this is where all your recordings are going to be saved so you want to go check browse and then find a specific folder where you want your recordings to be now the next thing you need to do is you want to go to recording format you want to make sure you choose fragmented mp4 okay this is the best format so far and for video encoder you want to make sure you go ahead and choose nvidia nvec h264 Again, if you have a different graphics card, you want to make sure you go ahead and choose whatever you have. It could be an AMD or anything, but you want to make sure you choose a dedicated graphics card, which is what I recommend. If you don't have a dedicated graphics card, you can go ahead and choose X264, but this is going to be using your processor. So you want to make sure if you don't have one, make sure you get a computer with a dedicated graphics card. All right. So we're going to go ahead and keep that one on. And then the next thing we need to do, rescale output, you just leave it the way it is. And then under encoder settings, you want to make sure you choose constant QP. All right. You can choose constant QP and then you want to make sure you put something around 18. Now, the lower you go, the lower number you pick, the higher quality your files are going to be, but also the files are going to be super huge. OK, so I found 18 being like a happy medium. If you go like you do 20, your files are going to be a little low quality but also files are going to be a little smaller so depending on the length of your recordings if you're doing like podcast or you're doing like an hour an hour and a half probably want to do like something around 20. now if you're doing short recordings like talking head videos 10 20 minutes video you can actually choose anywhere between 16 and 18 should be fine keyframe interval you can leave it at two seconds now for preset here you want to make sure usually i use slow good quality you want to make sure depending on the strength of your computer try to find one that works well with your computer but again i say like slow good quality or even slower better quality should work no problem all right so other than that everything else you can copy my settings you don't have to change anything keyframe intervals keep at two seconds b-frame you can keep at two no problem and then hit apply and the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and go to audio now when it comes to audio sample rate keep it at 48 kilohertz no problem channel keep it at stereo and then you can actually go ahead and leave everything the way it is and then we're gonna go back to output and then go to audio again and then audio beat rate you want to make sure you actually use the highest available which is 320 it's gonna give you the best quality all right you can apply to track one and track two but most people just use one track so even if you apply to just track one it should be fine now the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go to video and you want to make sure that we choose the best canvas set it to 1920 by 1080 this is now for a 4k recording and then for output resolution you want to make sure also you set it at 1920 by 1080 and then for common fps if you're doing a talking head video like what i'm doing right now you can leave it at 30 frames per second now if you are gaming you can actually go ahead and put it at 60 frames per second or if you or if you're recording anything that has to do with like sports anything where you have like a lot of motion going on and movements going on you can put a 60 frames per second once you're done make sure you hit apply and click ok and you'll be ready to record now this is just for recording now, if you want to improve the quality of your live streaming if you're using obs to record and stream you want to make sure you check out this video because i'm going to show you exactly that so check it out and i'll see you there guys take care